Welcome back guys to another PvE build for the Waking Flame DLC. Back to my Magicka Nightblade. This time I used Barzai's Mania instead of Mother Sorrow. It's slightly better, especially if you can manage to keep up your Magicka pool as low as possible. On the front bar, still Ceroria with two daggers for the maximum single target DPS. In range and dynamic fights, I still prefer the Inferno stuff instead, but for dummy passes or for static boss fights, the two daggers are still slightly better than the Inferno stuff. Rotation, exactly the same, like previous patch, nothing changed instead of Degeneration, you could probably use the orb in raids or with Medusa, you can even use both Degeneration and Mystic Orb. Other than that, exactly the same. I will link you the rotation explanation in the description below, check it out. Enjoy the pass, afterwards I will discuss the build with you.
here we are with the build showcase like i said before Bazes mania on the body alternative still mother sorrow or medusa is fine too on the head one slime core and a smithic item the harpooners waiting killed if you don't have access to the killed or in general to mythic items two zan or one slime core one zan for extra crit rate is also fine on the jewelry Zeroria, full bloodthirsty with two daggers both imprecise with a flame damage and a poison damage enchant and on the back bar what else the maelstrom arena inferno stuff it infused with the berserker glyph quick look on the skills debilitate on the front bar with impaleless execute then elemental weapon is spammable then merciless resolve for 10% crit damage and assassin's will degeneration as an extra dot then incap as ultimate if you don't have sustain issues you could even go with soul house the other move back bar twisting path unstable wall of fire and not mystic orb here <laughs> barb trap you can put mystic orb like i said before for uh, if you have medusa on then siphoning attacks for extra recovery and dark shade another dot back bar also in cap I did a couple of passes with Flawless Stormbreaker here. Since Deep Warrior skill line gives now 3% spell damage too. As Race Khajiit for extra 12% crit damage. High Earth and Dharma are fine too. Windows Stone the Thief still for extra spell crit. And Ice Cream as Buffoot. 64 points in Magicka. And potions, the spare power potions with magicka, sorcery, and prophecy. Quick look on the CPs. Nothing has changed. Fighting finesse, backstabber, deadly aim, and master at arms. If you can't flank the enemy, swap backstabber for Tomaturge, or for Wrathful Strikes, or even Biting Aura. Red CPs, Boundless Vitality. Rejuvenation, Fortified and Bastion. If you don't have sustain issues, you can put out Rejuvenation for, for example, Spirit Mastery to resurrect even faster. That's it. If you have some questions about the build, type it in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Thanks for the support. Don't forget to sub my channel. And I wish you all a fantastic day. And I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao.